Hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I have a good news for you and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 7 Pro officially and how to install the TWRP recovery on the Redmi Note 7 Pro right now. So let's begin this video. But before I start, let me tell you that this is not a April Fool's video because I'm shooting this video around this time of April Fool's Day and this is a true video, not a April Fool's video. And this method might change a little bit in the future, but this is going to be kind of the similar as of I'll be showing you right now. And you have to wait for 15 days until you can unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 7 Pro because you know the Strom is official rule that whenever you start like adding the account in me unlock status or something, you gotta wait 15 days more to unlock the device or unlock the bootloader of the device. So let's start it from here. So first of all, you have to go to the settings then just go to the about phone then find MIUI version then tap on that seven times so that you can get the developer option as i have done that already so let me just go back then in additional settings now from here find the developer option so here it is and now just go to this oem unlocking and i'll just disable and enable it just to show you guys so here you have to enter the pin let me do that after you have entered the pin it will ask you to like allow oem unlocking and just enable it now go to me unlock status now tap agree from here add your me account but you can't add it through wi-fi so just disable your wi-fi and make sure you're on data so right now just tap on the add account again Now it will say that the account is added successfully. Now just power off the device. And I'll just hold the power button and the volume down button to like boot into the fast boot mode. Now just connect the phone with USB cable to your PC. Now open the website en.miui.com slash unlock. Now from here download the me unlock tool. I have downloaded it already. So I'll, let me just open it. Now from here, enter your like me account and password to sign into this like application. Now after that you have done that, just keep in mind you have backed up everything before like even trying because after unlocking, if somehow it gets unlocked, the device will be totally wiped and you may lose your data. So make sure you have a backup of your files on your PC or somewhere. So right now, let me just try it. Now click on unlock anyway and wait for the time being. After it says unlocked successfully, the device is gonna reboot itself. So now you can do the setup or you can directly go into fast boot by pressing and holding volume down and the power button together. Once you are booted in the fast boot mode, connect the phone with your PC with the help of the type C cable. And I'll link this magisk anti-WRP file in the description box below and all the files you need. So don't worry. And we don't actually need the lazy flasher zip here. Now hold shift on your keyboard and right click in this folder and make sure you have universal ADB drivers installed before doing this on your PC. Now click on open PowerShell window here. Now you can type fastboot devices to check if the device is detected or not. So yes, as you can see it's detected. Now type fastboot flash recovery twrp.img and hit enter. I just renamed the twrp recovery file name for convenience. Once it's done, now press and hold the volume up and the power button together on the device until you feel a vibration. And once you're booted into the TWRP recovery for the first time, check this never show this box again in TWRP and swipe to allow modifications. And the brightness is still a lot lower in TWRP than it should be because it still is an unofficial TWRP. So I hope the issue gets fixed when Redmi Note 7 Pro gets official TWRP. So right after you have installed your TWRP recovery, you won't be able to like do anything on it. So what's the use of TWRP, like getting TWRP recovery right now on the Redmi Note 7 Pro? Well, after you flash TWRP for the first time, you, if you go into install, you will see some kind of weird names folders and it will say AAA, FFF, G, or something like that. This kind of folders you can see from the screen and like there is no use of that, right? So what are you gonna do now? And whenever you reboot, like if you reboot right now after flashing the TWRP recovery, you can boot into your like ROM, which you were using last time. 
but your TWRP will be removed from the recovery section. If you hold the power button or and the volume up button now, it will directly boot you in the me recovery, not the TWRP recovery. So how do you keep your TWRP recovery installed on your phone, you may ask. So right now what you need to do is like just after flashing the TWRP recovery for the first time, you need to go to wipe, then format data, then from there you need to type yes like you do normally. So once you are done with the formatting data, now you can just go to install and just flash the magisk zip file you, which you have downloaded earlier. So just flash that magisk file and just you can reboot. So after you are rebooting the device, you will see that you do have the TWRP recovery on your phone. It's not removed right now. And you have the magisk manager or like whatever you call the magisk of course. And now you're gonna see that you have the root permission and the magisk manager on your device in MIUI running on 10.2.7 I guess as of now. So that is how you have to unlock the bootloader right now and install TWRP and install Magisk on your Redmi Note 7 Pro and there you have it. And share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about unlocking bootloader and flashing TWRP and stuff on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.